I've never had much use for using pallets for building stuff, but these I can work with. Yep, I've got just the right project for these bad boys. I'm gonna take that wood rack and put some sides on it and build a roof because that pallet that's on the bottom is the same pallet as those. I promised a video about building with pallets and here's one of those pallets that we've got right now. First thing we need to do is lighten these up a little bit. So we're Now we're going to attempt to flip it over. Okay, that didn't work. The reason why that didn't work. Those nails they don't stick out very far. That's why we don't love working with pallets. So I'll put a couple beefy screws there uh, at the pick point. We'll try it again. Okay, let's try these. These ought to suit our purpose a lot better. Now the reason why we had to flip it over is because I want those boards towards the inside so that I can stack the wood right up against it. Now we can pick it up and actually get it set in place. Obviously everybody doesn't have a tractor, but I'm fortunate to have one. If you just had another person, it would be pretty easy to do this job with two people, but uh, I wanted to do it by myself, so I used my tractor. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Got about a foot and a half hanging out the front, and about a foot and a half hanging out the back. That will allow me to keep this open so I've got airflow, um, but it'll also keep it protected from the rain because I'll have uh, somewhat of an eave there. So, uh, awesome. Now all I've got to do is put a crap ton of screws in there. Did I mention I got these for free too? Uh, salvaged these. My brother-in-law uh, was doing a job and I got a bunch of them and he brought them over and said, hey, do you want these? And I said, yeah, of course I do. So uh, these will work perfect. They're about a, eh, probably two and three quarter inch. And they got a nice heavy shank on them. So we're going to drive those in there. Kind of give you an idea of how many of those screws I have. I've got a lot. Okay, now we're just going to take one of the boards that we peeled off of there and uh, we'll get this plumbed up, put a cross brace down back to the pallet to keep everything square and then we'll uh, release the tractor and screw the rest of it off. Got a diagonal brace on there and it looks pretty level so we're going to go ahead and let the tractor go now now we just got to do the same thing flip that over haul it in here stand it up screw it on square it off and then we got some walls Okay, so we ran into three different problems at the same time. First one, my phone was going dead. Second one, it was lunchtime. 
And the third one was that walnut tree. I'm just, I don't want to cut any branches off of it. Okay, we got it in there. Things aren't perfect by any means, but uh, I've got a board just kind of wedged in there to keep it from falling over so that we can get the tractor unhooked and get it out of there. So all we did was put a diagonal brace just down to the ground. Um, we're just using the weight of this wall to keep it where it's at. So we put a brace going down this way in the front and going down that way in the back. So dealing with crooked lumber, it can be pretty annoying. I can't get that tight over there. So what I did was I just hooked up a choker here to a ratchet strap. And we're just going to see if we can suck that gap out of it. Okay, that looks better. Now we can put some screws in this end. Okay, that looks pretty good. It had a giant gap before, now it looks nice and tight. Let's go ahead and screw that down. Okay, now we're gonna tie this together. And uh, what you can do if you're working by yourself is you just put a screw or nail down there then you can literally just set your board on top of it. And then uh, you can screw your one side in and then pull your measurement and make sure you're good. Now I've got this crate here and I'm gonna take this thing apart. I've already started disassembling this. Well, I've got that crate torn apart. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, this would make great lap siding for the woodshed. I went ahead and kept this board here as a ledger. I don't have to snap a line, I can just Set my pieces right down on it and then I have these little pieces to where that will set my slope so that when we put these on here it'll be able to shed water so it's sitting at a slope right now these little pieces are just pieces I cut from a broken piece that I couldn't utilize these nails are nails that I took out of this crate when I took it apart I'm going to reuse them. On this next course, I'm going to snap a line at three quarters of an inch so that I have my overlap. And then I'll be snapping a line each time I do a new course so that I can keep that overlap going. Speaking of overlap, we're going to try to make this to where we have as the least amount of cuts possible. So we'll try to utilize the pieces at the length that they are rather than cutting them and we'll be able to use up, we'll be able to utilize this stuff a little bit better than we would have been able to. You'll see me stop and straighten nails every now and again. That's because I'm reusing nails. It's not hard, it takes a little bit extra time, but uh, if you really and truly do want to build something like this for free, that is the extra work that you're gonna have to do.
Alrighty. So we went about halfway up with lap. Now we're going to put verticals on there. So you can see I, I just did a little bit of blocking in between. And all I did was I just toenailed some of these boards from the other pallets in there. You can see I didn't even take the nails out of the back side of them because those are ring shanks and I really didn't want to spend the time doing it. Okay, here's the last piece that we're going to put on this side. But for now, this is the end of part one. And then uh, if you stick around, we'll come back with the, we'll start on the roof because uh, I need to get another one of those crates to side the other side. But I do have the trusses. I just don't have any more room on my phone. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.